Hello everyone, good morning from Slovakia, this is Mimo Krištof, welcome to my demo. First of all, I would like to thank Robert Steven for organizing this great event where more than 80 bonsai artists from all over the world are, are doing these live streams on their Facebook profiles today for you that are on lockdowns at home to maybe get inspired or come up with something to do. If you like bonsai, make sure you check out their profiles. Uh, they are in the link with this video and uh, there's gonna be a huge amount of free information for you today from the best artists all over the world so make sure you check as many of them as you can and as you want all right uh, today i'm going to have a assistant my dad come and say hello he's going to help me hello that is a great help for the last two years he's helping me with collecting yamatori trees as well i really enjoy his company He's a cool guy. So uh, for my demo, I decided I'm going to take you through the process of planting the trees on this artificial rock. Uh, these are going to be a regular common garden center uh, junipers that you can get just for a few euros. And uh, first of all, I will tell you about this uh, artificial rock that I created from a white on building blocks. It's basically aerated concrete. And uh, I glued four of these building blocks together that you usually use for building the walls of a house. Uh, I glued them together with cement uh, building glue. Uh, make sure it's uh, flexible and make sure that it's frost resistant. From that same material, uh, cement uh, glue, I also created this slab. It is reinforced inside with uh, wire mesh so it don't fall apart and I made it uh, I send it the, the edges of it so it looks like uh, cooled down lava or something like that so after I had this four blocks together I took a reciprocating saw I sawed out the outline and then with the carving tool I carved all these little crevices and uh, my desired shape when that was done, I spent about 10 hours just covering it all in this cement glue. In my previous video, I called it cement glue. My sister called me afterwards and said like she had a good laugh because it's not obviously cement glue. I didn't cover it in cement. I covered it in cement glue. So just to clarify that, as much as I like this rock, it's still the cement glue that is covered in. But uh, yeah, one step before, I also used a liquid called deep penetration to make it more firm, the surfaces. And uh, after about 10 hours of applying the cement glue with a little brush, I left it for another few weeks to dry out. And then I used oil paints. Uh, mostly for this one, I used uh, black and white and uh, I mix it in uh, many different shades and I probably ended with 50 shades of grey so the ladies like it too, all right? And uh, that oil paint dries a pretty long time so I had to wait for another week or two before I continued to do some little adjustments. So this is about this rock. Uh, inspiration is obviously from Mr. Kimura who creates this amazing uh, natural uh, rock towers. Uh, this is basically a cheap version of it uh, on a budget because I don't have an access to these natural rocks. So I seen on uh, uh, I seen uh, this uh, way of uh, doing it on Mark Nolander's profile who shared it that he's doing it from these aerated concrete blocks. So while doing a little extension on our house. I decided why not have a little fun and put this thing together uh, in my little free time that I had along with the building this extension on the house. All right, now it's done and all ready to... I didn't want this demo to take forever, so I already prepared some wires and screws. So I'm going to show you just on the two screws how it's done, how you secure, how you prepare it, yeah? You can use regular... 
regular screws that you use for wood. It holds pretty firmly. Of course, you don't have to, you cannot push it hard pretty much because it breaks, yeah? So, use these screws and very gently, you insert it in the position where you want to have the trees secured. Right, it holds nicely. These are the last tools that I didn't finish. And uh, then you take a wire. I use regular aluminium bonsai wire. Then, basically, turn it around the screw, cross it afterwards, after it, and then you securely tighten, but not too much, all right? Not too hard. And you make sure that the wire doesn't move. All right, the last wire. And I tighten the screw. Alright, the piece it is holding firmly in its place. Alright, so one by one you prepare every little hole. All these holes are made especially for these junipers. I had it in mind where about I want to put the plants on this rock. So when I was carving it, I made the bigger holes. I show you afterwards, or maybe later on in the, some photos that I can attach to this tray. All right. Remember, if you have any questions, I am not looking at the comments right now because I want to work and I don't want this day to take forever. So after this live demo, I'm going to read all of your comments and all the questions, and I ask whatever you want. So you can ask me anything you get the answer whether you like it or not, all right? Okay, so we are going to plant regular cheap garden center junipers. Everyone was styled according to its position on the rock. Uh, these were about this height. I got them last year in a not very good shape. I nurtured them back to health. And uh, uh, recently I decreased the amount of the root ball. I didn't actually cut any of the roots. I just uh, removed all the excess garden center soil and I planted it in, in zeolite. It's my substrate of choice for all my plants, just pure zeolite. Of course, you have to put then moss on top so it holds the moisture a little while longer. Or you can add uh, coconut fiber or whatever want but this is great stuff the roots won't uh, rot it's considered it's considered uh, one of the modern substrates that I learned about uh, very first few weeks when I started with bonsai from Walter Paul's blog I recommend that I read it through and through and it's the best for beginner to start with along with bonsai for me.com Harry Harrington's page these are my mo most favorite they can put it like it is they tell you everything and uh, it saves you a lot of time uh, learning at your own mistakes, all right? Of course, you're gonna make mistakes, but it's part of the process of learning. All right, so this plant should go here. Then we got this one for here. And uh, I think we're going to plant them right away with the help of my dad. And when we get here, I will tell you a little bit more about the concept of direction and all these uh, other rules, maybe, of rock plantings. So, let's go for it. First of all, we have to make uh, little walls around for substrate or zeolite. So it doesn't get washed away and or just fall down and it's holding place. I use Bonsai substrate Ibuki Keto. It's special sticky substrate used for these rock plantings or planting on a slab. 
and it basically holds thank you basically holds the substrate in its place so if you want to do something like that you probably need keto you can make it your own research on the internet or you can buy it pretty cheaply and it's uh, great stuff so you need a little bit of water for that and it's gonna be messy So all these little holes there are, I'm going to cover in this and make little walls. And also down here, later on, when I finish, I will show you all these little paths for the roots that I uh, carved at the back. All right, but I will finish that after the video. I won't bother you for another hours, all right, finishing it. So we use Keto. Make these walls just about for a little bit of zero light to be poured in there. some water over it and we can start with planting our first tree something like this maybe even a little bit to the back if you put more CO light than you need or substrate of your choice just take it out now I am not sure about this little extension that cascades down this is styled basically this is the least natural of the these styled junipers it looks more like bonsai than the tree i prefer trees before bonsai uh, of course it has to be a little bit nicer than just the tree that with the, all these branches going uh, all the way so but i've been thinking maybe if i remove this as though i wanted something to cascade down here maybe it's going to going to look nicer when i remove this later for now, we leave we leave it on, all right? Now, we're going to make sure the position is correct. And now, I am going to fire it down. And hopefully, the wires are long enough. They surely are, I checked, no worries. Pretty good, you don't have to overstretch it because even the aluminium wire will break. So I softly tighten it. I prefer to use these chin pliers. this one too remember these trees are just very roughly styled all right i didn't go over them or make them and they're going to be further styled uh, in the following year after i make sure they survived this planting they're okay and healthy i will do some refinements afterwards but for now they are just roughly styled nothing too much no heavy bands, I didn't even wrap with raffia or anything else, just only maybe on two 
two of them I use a little tape okay so after this is done the tree is firmly in its place we're going to put in some more zeolite and going to fill all these little places that there still are under the root ball that are hanging I just put it here and the kettle will hold them in place then I cover it with kettle all right now I just finished it with kettle but first of all I water again all these new skill like holds its place all right and now we just cover it with kettle everything okay we still going live yeah some people are actually watching thank you very much apply some water and make it flat and just put it on top and with your fingers just press it cover all the roots you can spread it around when there's a bit much applied here and there as I said these junipers will be further worked and uh, there might be some shari and uh, jeans created later on but for today this you'll have to do soon the kettle will wash away too so that's why you have to use moss and cover it with moss to this kettle it will stick pretty nice to zeolite not that good actually not at all but when you use this kettle it sticks nice and it grows nice in my local conditions I keep my most of my trees in the direct sun we got up to 40 degrees Celsius in summer and they're still healthy but remember we're watering them maybe three times a day so right. I got most prepared so it shouldn't take forever I'm lucky that I have a cool place to collect moss in our used to be orchard that is now being cleared off I also collect trees there basically saving their lives because the tractors are uh, bringing them down and they go into this big wood mixer being destroyed I saved quite a lot of trees from there so far all right so this 
how it looks covered in moss. All right, that is saying that it's not visibly visible very good. Maybe I'll try to move it like this. A little close up on the rock. A little close up on the holes for the trees. All right. Now I put it back in its place. All right, we got the trees. We got the first tree installed all right we're still going live all right so this is the first tree going a little bit back i still can bring this forward and uh, there's going to be little adjustment after all the trees are in their places you can see it's planted in its place pretty firmly so you don't have to worry if a bird lands on it or something. You, you, you always should make sure that the trees are tightened to the pot with the wire. My dad is trying to tell me something. I don't get it. You can maybe just say it. Yeah. Oh. yeah sure. so, now I got something else to worry about. Daddy, sorry. All right. We're going to plant the tree number two. It's actually the twin trunk. I wasn't sure whether to plant the twin trunk or maybe a little cascade as well or something like that. Twin trunks, but there are actually going to be two or three of them. Let's see how it ends up. Alright, so again, Ketto. at the back just to hold this tunnel like that to make any holes for it to water to drain out or excess water just to flow away because through this kettle and moss it will freely get out no problem so don't have to worry about any root rot or something like that okay so the three number two this one Position on the tree would be some oh, on the rock would be something like this. All right, and let's go for it. of the zeolite so I take a bit out I 
right, so something like this. Real image of real life. Okay, so something like this. Now, let me see it from distance. Not bad. That's actually how I wanted it to be. Okay, let's go secure the tree. adjustments much will be done later on okay so we got these two trees on this rock I'm going to check my battery all right night last Ladislav thought hello and all the other ones watching okay so time for keto again I'm really happy I traced down this Ibuki Keto because it's uh, good stuff. I recommend to everyone. I won't get zero line in this little hose there, so I just put more Keto in. no problem because sometimes it's used just by itself it's basically a software so no problem okay let's see if there's any more holes no okay so I just finished covering it with keto channel so I want to make sure they're secure there too now before I do any more work on the other trees plus fish all right okay we got two trees I wanted this tree copy the movement of the rock when you were doing these uh, rock plantings or uh, creations or pangings you have to think about direction direction is, is important as well in bonsai every bonsai has its direction and uh, the more you follow direction the better it looks uh, there's exception when you do the forest planting usually the trees to the left of the center uh, tend to lean to the left and the right of the center tend to lean to the right side but usually 
you should just watch your directions, okay? Put some water over this moss and we're going to cover most of this. So this tree is styled to copy the top of the rock, direction is to the left. I didn't want the right side trees as well to just stick to the right, as I've seen on some plantings, then it would basically, if it goes all around like this, like the spots of wheel, uh, it would look something like elongated coronavirus or something like that, you know? So I wanted the trees to copy the, the shapes of the rock. Right, now we're going to plant the third tree after I'm covering, after I cover this with moss, all right? And then I tell you about my dilemma, about tree for here and tree for here. Okay, so moss is ready to be applied. It sticks nicely to it, it holds in place. There's a lot of discussion on the internet whether the moss is good or not. Michael Hagedorn has a good blog about it, good blog post, you can google that out. I like moss a lot, it saves me a lot of troubles, it looks nice. I specialize in landscapes, uh, so it's basically what's necessary to imitate these low grasses and something like that, you know. Okay, a little bit of water. Junipers like water on the leaves as well, so I always water them on the leaves as well. Okay, tree, num uh, tree number three. professional Japanese one to water my trees. Can you see? Three euros from Honba. show you how it looks in a little while because you probably can't see much from there so in a second after I finish applying this kettle all right I'm gonna get my stuff all dirty but I have no problem doing it for you, all right? So, can you see? Uh, looks something like this. And the back. Okay. Maybe I put it a little bit closer now. Or this tree, okay. So you can see more from here, all right? side and I'll be right back no worries here am I 
so something like this should work hmm? okay thank you mommy For assistance this should go something like this so it leans to the rock and not going just away from it we need to put some more zeolite I have some prepared here because there's too many crevices in this one so I rather put more and then take a little bit away and to make sure that there's no any holes inside of the round root ball. Okay. Now. All right. Should be okay like this. Okay. I still can manage on my own, that is having a good time just watching. Alright. Well I tell you the bottom wire is a little bit short, so I need to cut some more. It's easy to fix. I'm going to do a little extension on the wire. That should absolutely work fine. Looks like we're going to get a bit of rain soon, so we'll see if I will make it before that. This stick we're trying to put the substrate inside around the root ball, make sure there's plenty. And there's no any air pockets. get in there so here comes Keto again so this is okay because we put it in place stick some Keto in there
and we covered the whole surface of the substrate of the zeolite with paper as well. So the moss sticks on it and can grow nicely. All right, let's see how it looks on the back. Actually, not that bad. A little bit here. And we can go talk about my dilemma in a minute. Okay, Daddy. Mark, do you see? Please bring me some moss. That is the third tree in its place. Thank you, Daddy. Trying to work hard and fast here so we don't get wet and I will be able to finish this demo for you live. But if I don't make it, I will certainly add another video later on, or at least the pictures of how it looks finished. Basically, by now, know all the mechanics behind this, and what you should do. If you want to see some pictures of creation of this rock, you can uh, look them up in my photos on my Facebook profile. There are some of them, easily to be found. If you have any questions, just ask. I might answer one right away. I didn't use styrofoam for this one because I want it to be a little bit more firm and have the actual rock feeling because once I know there's a styrofoam inside, I would be like, okay, it's just styrofoam. I never worked with it, I might try one day, but for now I prefer this way. I still, I still have someone to help carry around these heavy creations that I make. It's usually me who sleeps and hurt my hand. So, all right, this one doesn't hold because I didn't put enough cat over there. Now it's done. I can feel a little drizzle, so maybe hoď zobrať dažník. Send that to bring me an umbrella for the camera, so you won't get wet. It doesn't matter. All right, now let's talk about my dilemma for these two trees. One of them and the second one. I style them specially for their place, all right? So for here, I style it like this. So the tree moves in the direction of the rock. And I style this one. So it goes around here a little bit, cascading down with the deadwood. I would prefer the deadwood on top because there are the roughest conditions for trees to survive. And uh, ah, you might not see it actually now. <laughs> All right. But deadwood can be added later from the new branches or from the existing ones. There's actually like three trunks going from the one place. But when I insert this one, Here on top, should stay there, okay. I've been thinking like, can you see it? Yeah, you can see. Uh, now, okay. 
it actually looks pretty good up there. Why shouldn't the tree in nature just go in the opposite direction and just grow like that over the cliffs and over the other trees? But if I did this, I would still feel a bit uncomfortable about it because it doesn't go the direction all the other trees are going. So it, I think it would always bother me to put it like that. Also, I like it like that, but on the tree by just maybe if it was just the tree by itself on some rock, it would be okay. But in a composition like this, I think I would still be pretty much bothered about it. So eventually I decided I'm going to put it down here as originally intended. Leaning a bit backward so it's not too far away from the rock. Something like this. For now, let's put it in here. We'll get to it in a minute, so I just water the tree. And let's continue with the top three. I'm just going to decide to remove the tree. Water the root ball a little bit. Here I am with this tree. It's going to be cascading up something like this. Ah, it's still a little bit too close for you to see. Or maybe I just... Um, like this. Opa. Okay. Alright. So what I need to do now is put some keto in it and tighten the tree in its position on top. No, to potom ukážem, hej, vyberiem z toho mobil. Voda. Little wall of keto. Zeolite goes in. Water it thoroughly so all the mess gets out and all this little dust from the stones. Thieve the away and you wash until the water coming out is all clear. All right? Okay, this, this tree fits nicely in here. The place for it is big enough. Let's check the position. Okay. Roots face down. Hope you can see, hear me okay. That is saying like I might be talking a little bit. Not loud enough, actually. But it's my first demo ever actually, and I find it hard to concentrate on the work and trying to comment and all the other stuff. So bear with me, please. I just wanted to show you how to create such a rock creation. Although there are some videos on YouTube, you can check them out. If you want to do it, you will research it for sure. So now the tree is okay in here. I might move this a little bit here. This should imitate the, another trunk. 
So this should, this back branch should go towards the back to create a little bit depth in the little bit. Now, I'm not going to just plant trees around it. I'm going to plant two little itoigavas here at the front. But these are just the little trees and they're going to imitate low growth on a rock or a little trees. Okay, let's finish this one. I'm not planting for now anything at the back because in here it won't get much light anyway. And uh, I will decide later where I want to keep this because this was originally, this stand was originally built for the benching I just broke. So when I make a new one, it might go here and uh, depends if it goes somewhere as a standalone in the garden, I will probably plant some trees at the back as well, so it goes nice and around. But I want to make sure the trees that are planted there, planted there, uh, have enough of light. fingers and if it doesn't go anymore I use this little stick. Bamboo sticks are used, I don't have them so I just use regular sticks that you use for cooking for putting a bacon on it or something like that. Okay. Kettle so it goes in, all right. Okay. Not too much on the sides. A lot of these rock plantings tend to have the most of the rock covered with the trees. I would like to show also the rock because why else would I spend so much time creating it, right? So I want it to be visible. And I don't want to create trees that have, have two full canopies, like if they're growing somewhere in a meadow. This is a rock. The conditions are very hard, so you have to bear that in mind what you're doing with junipers. They grow in a higher altitude, usually. All right. Found it safe. All right, let's move the branches a little bit. There it is. Nie da robić. Ok, this have to do for now. You want to know how to start the trees, make sure you check other demos by other bonsaiists and bonsai artists from all over the world. They will make certainly more clear to you how it is done. I want to focus on this rock planting now, so you're still going live, all right? Now, let it moss, please. I wet it a bit so it sticks nice.
Genshi Alechi. No, thank you. Did he Otzi? I will go into water it so I get more wet. Ah, luckily you don't see it. Huh? Okay, let me take a look from the back, from a little distance. All right. So this right tree will probably later on be style has to go a little bit closer to this rock. And this might as well. For now, I leave it, okay? Let's focus on the last one. So, let's make another wall of keto. I love the messy stuff. Now, this tree has the biggest root bolt and I don't want to cut any of the roots to make sure the tree survives. So let's see how I managed to fit it in there. In here, actually. All right, there's the tree. The tree is down here. will be coming a little back for the, this direction so it doesn't stick out too much now looks like we have another short wire here top one should be okay wires are Pojď mi podržet, prosím tě, ten stromček. Both wires are a little bit short. I thought it the tree will fit in a little bit better. Come from here, put the right And we need to do a little extension again. Two of the wires. are up there on the window watching me so I do the good job the excess wire, tighten it in its position. Okay, let's go, let's see. A bit more maybe. Okay, thank you. The key of call, how does it look? Right, the trees go around, but not stretching out too much. So now... Hmm? That is just saying that I didn't finish the bottom wire. Thank God I have him. Thank God I'm an atheist. All right, better. Okay, the other wire is here. Ah. From the back, probably. Yeah. Not a small piece of wall.
still a bit loose, so I tighten it up here. And now it's okay. Safe and sound. All right. Let's see how does it look. Actually, can you see anything of this? Like this. Maybe better. All right. Still alive. You know the battery. Okay. Still no rain. Lucky for us. Okay, now let's cover it in keto and pour some zeolite light in. Enough. I'm gonna fill this hole with keto. I can get good access under the root ball from here and check that there's no open spaces, no air bubbles. roots under the keto on top of the root ball so the moss sticks on it all right nice okay for the front i'm going to pick nice moss like this this little orange growth it looks pretty cool. Later on, I'm going to add moss in some of these crevices. I don't want to fill them up all, but just some of them. Let's know, okay, thank you. I'm going to water it now that it holds in place. Okay. Now, when this is done, I 
Okay, I'll leave this for later. I want to bring this tree a little bit closer to the rock. And what's left for me to do now is add two little Iptoigavas in these little crevices at the bottom. This is not very straight looking. Okay, yeah, let's watch me from a close, closer distance. Okay. Maybe this should be okay. Now, plenty of cat on it to get here. A little packet so some zeolite is in there as well not only second This should be okay. Now I will put some zeolite in there. And this wet zeolite I have inside. That's too bit okay. Now. Two little little gavas. These have a very good root ball. First, I've been considering using just these Itoy Gavas, but there wouldn't be much place for any dead wood or they would look from distance not bad, but from a close up they would look like uh, still look like uh, young trees. So that's why I use these big junipers. Right, so, as I saw Mr. Kimura doing these rock plantings, usually cut the back of the tree so it leans to the rock you don't need branches at the back because it's touching the rock okay so now let's try to put all these roots in there okay and let's put some we can wait just let's securely tighten the tree in its place. Wire, that's the wire, okay. Here's the wire. It's going at the back of the tree and uh, crossing down. Reading my mind, watching me closely, thank you very much. Simply a bit bad. Okay, not too tight because this light gauge wire would probably snip. Not bad. Some more keto. Finished off. Okay, some more keto at the back in the root ball. Yeah. 
these trees will get wired at a later stage or maybe I just leave it like that. So it looks like uh, little bushes. Now I need to get this here. So the roots need to go in. Some of them I later on go in here if I cover it with keto and uh, I actually connect these channels. Okay. I lost the track of one of the wires here and okay, I got it. They go over three. It looks pretty much like the roots itself, so I have to focus where they actually are. This one goes to my finger, nice. Okay, that's what I meant. Now let's finish the kettle. not screw the final steps. All right. That's it. Here comes the moss, okay? But first, I would like to put some moss into some crevices, uh, some keto, so I can glue basically some moss in there here and there not too much so the rock stands out a little bit here especially where I see that this paint I applied is a little bit too much, it's too much, visible too much, right? Okay, something should be here. And uh, what I did, what I didn't tell you about yet, is that you can see, but over here I got some screws inserted. When I was creating this flap, I inserted a few screws, so. Some little bushes or plants imitating a little bushes can go here at the later stage. I was thinking about adding some Burberry seeds maybe here, maybe here, to make it more colorful because I don't want it all to be just green and black, but some red would be nice in there. And I think I would find it most attractive. When I create such a creations, I first of all I think about myself if I like it or not. So some berberises might go in there at a later stage. You have to think when you're combining the plants, if they're going to survive the winter in the same place, because they're like wired down there, you know. So 
So let's add some moss on these little little galas. Moss, this little growth goes in here. Some of it I put here. It looks like that's it. And maybe a little bit here. Come on, Eddie. I need to use a little bit more. Okay, that's basically it. This is my rock planting. It's gonna get better in time, I hope, when I continue wire wiring the trees and uh, look at it a bit more that you can clean it and I, I'll tell you something about it. Hmm? Uh, poď Shortly I will take off this camera from here and I will show you how does it looks like at the back. I'm not going to bother you to wait another 15 minutes until I cover all these channels at the back with keto that are ready for it. So let's finish here with this planting. But another thing I want to do is to create a little landscape down here as well. Alright, so we're still not finished that yet, just we're not finished. The whole thing is done, but there's still a bit of keto goes around the slab. I try to copy the shape of the cement slab then I fill the inside with zeolite and then I will cover it with moss
Otvorím druhé. Zatiaľ nebude treba, díky. Toto nebudeme celé zakrývať. We're not going to cover it all with keto. We just leave pure zeolite and I add the moss on it. It will stay in here and the sides will be held by keto and moss. So I don't need to put any any keto on top. But for now, once the trees grow and uh, their roots will reach down the cement slab, they will go around and uh, then I want to keep them wet as long as possible as well in this zeolite. So then after that I might cover the whole surface with keto and put the moss on it again. But for now it's gonna take another maybe two, three years until the roots reach to the bottom. Po skaloch, o ukoč, nemusí vydávať až tam. Skúsem aj na to nechať. Akurát máme ešte toho, na tomto vrecku. Plenty of sea light. Kvetne na to, ne? Nie, nie, čistý tam dáme pekný. Okay, try and wash my hands a bit. Water, please. Okay, for now that should do. I'm gonna water it properly so all the dust flows out. You can see from the zeolite the water is a little bit dirty and uh, grey. But after a little while, after a little while, the clean water will start. So, as you can see, get the holes is nice in place. And now let's cover it with the rest of the moss. Later on I might connect these little crevices at the bottom of the rock as well, so the roots of these little itoigavas will reach the bottom as well. Okay, what's the 
mali ukladať na toto miesto okolo tej. moment I'm not thinking too much about landscaping the bottom part of the rock because as I said I might plant some berberises or maybe some other colorful plants that could survive our winters down there maybe somewhere here along the rock so we just need to cover this now at the moment so it looks good and we can finish off this video for you Then we're going to finish these channels at the back, fill them with keto and cover them with moss. But that's not interesting enough for you to see, so... I want to hold you back so you got still a lot of time to check the other bonsai artists that are taking their time to share their knowledge with you today. I will make sure myself that I watch as many of them as possible. I'm looking forward to see, for example, Juan Laga, who is probably one of the best landscape bonsai artists out there. Robert Steven as well. My uh, fellow Slovakian artists, uh, Milan Roskoš and Juraj Sabo, of course, and uh, all the other artists that I will manage to make time for watching their videos and learn something more because in bonsai you learn all your life sometimes it might, be, might not be enough all right so this is it i'm going to remove my gloves now and uh, i will try to take off the foam and show you around a little close up of this Little bit on my hands. All right, so let's see what I can do here. Okay, it's still working. Going to all right, so this is working. So now let's have a look at this. What did I do? All right. The moment I can't adjust the lightness. So let's walk around this rock. I show you a close up of this cement slab I made for it. All right, then let's go up the rock. As I said, this might go away later on. Let's climb up the mountain. The tree on top will be shaped, styled a little while later. Main thing now is that the trunk is going in the direction, direction of the top of the rock. We'll make this little two trunk to lean against the rock a little bit more.
and I would like this to go a bit closer so maybe later I will a little bit restyle it or maybe reposition after the tree settles in so you can't exactly say beforehand how it's gonna look so this is for me first time seeing it I've been holding it against the rock with the containers and then when I uh, decrease the root ball I try to put it in there but it's just an informative so now let's go at the back and I'll show you these crevices so down here goes towards uh, every every one tree so its roots can grow freely down there and then it I don't have to remove the trees when I repot it I just cut around the roots down here all these channels will be filled with keto and as I said maybe if I when I decide where it is going to be positioned I might plant some trees at the back if they're gonna be getting enough light back of the slab okay all right so this is it my demo is done hope you enjoyed it check as many of the other bonsai artists as you can and uh, Thank you all for watching. Thanks my dad for helping me and have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.